Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the New York City Challenge. If you don't know, this is a series where we try and take New York City into the playoffs and then try and win the MLS Cup in one season and one season only. So with that being said, let's jump into it. So if you did see the last episode, you do know Pirlo did get injured and I was just changing the formation there to a 4-4-2 and then I realized because Pirlo is injured, we have no reserves because the team isn't in depth and we cannot sign anybody until July. So we are forced to buy any player from the free transfer list or we have to forfeit the game against Toronto and that is just not happening. So we have three days to try and sign a free agent. So let's see what we can do. So this is a player we are looking to sign. I'm not even going to dare pronounce his name because I'm just going to ruin it. He has some decent stats, his acceleration's good, his sprint speed's good, and he's a striker, so we'll be able to give Davia a rest up until July until we sign someone else. So let's hopefully this works out. His demands, he's looking for a massive 15 grand a week, and he's looking for a two-year contract. I'm going to meet it just because I need him quickly, and I'm also going to put crucial first-team player on the contract just to sweeten the deal, and hopefully it gets over the line within the next three days. So just while we're waiting for that deal to go through, and hopefully it does, I'm going to show you the two games we are going to be playing today. The first game is a home game against Toronto FC. Should be a decent uh, should be a decent game there and then five days later we play Orlando the home of Kaka so they should be a decent old squad I'm not sure how they've started the season but we'll find that out right now so we are currently top of the table two wins out of two sitting on six points not a bad start to the season if I do say so myself Toronto FC are currently in sixth place they've only played one game actually and they've won it but I'm not really sure what they're about they haven't really played enough games for me to know and then Orlando City are bottom they've played one game and lost it it's kind of up in the air i have no idea how these games are going to turn out but hopefully we can make it four wins out of four so let's hit advance and hopefully we get an email before this game you've got mail Ooh, -hoo -hoo, we cut it close but it ended up working out in the end we have signed sunil i'm just going to go with his first name because i have no idea and we have we have basically signed sunil so i'm just going to accept him 15 grand a week is a bit hefty but I'm not forfeiting any games so get him on the team happy days we can progress on with the games so this is the team we are going for for the first game of this episode we have changed to a 4-4-2 flat just until Pirlo comes back in the next four weeks so we have Davavia and Sunil the player we just signed I'm going to test him out why not I'm paying 15 grand a week for his wages so I might as well try him out and then the rest is basically the same McNamara and Harrison out the left and right Disgrude and Lopez in the center and then Marietta brilliant Chanet Allen and Rawls we're not going to keep him in there though just because we need to play Johnson because he is the better player so that is the team we are going for. So here's the lineup for Toronto FC. The only two players I know are their two strikers is Giovinco and Altidore. They are pretty good strikers so we have to have our defence on point in this game to hopefully keep a clean sheet and get three points. Vias, he's a nice run by McNamara. He has a bit of space out here. Ah, oh, just couldn't get the touch in before the bounce but he makes, he makes the most of it. He swings it in. Can we get ahead? No, fuck. Turns it back. Nice run by Lopez. Lopez into Harrison. He hits it first time. Yes, 1-0 up, literally right before half time. What an unbelievable bit of play though. Look at this, Discarood straight into Lopez. Lopez with a cheeky little pass into Harrison and Harrison first time shot buries it top left hand corner. 1-0 up right before half time. That's it lads, end of the first half. We are 1-0 up, couldn't have ended that first half any better. The first half up until that goal was absolute shit, it was so boring. It was all in the midfield, just trying to hold up balls and trying to get the strikers through. As you can see from this, we've both had one shot each and one shot on target each, and ours just happened to be a goal. It was a pretty shit first half, but we ended up being 1 0 up, so that's not bad. Okay, now Toronto have a free kick in a nice position here. Hopefully, we get it away. It's a good ball. This sh oh, no, good. Johnson, easy save. We take it nice and short. Discrude has a bit of space. Sees Davavia running in behind the defence. Keep going with that, Davavia. And hit it. See what happens. Davavia makes the keeper work, though, and we get a corner. Nice one. Right in the centre. Oh, we get ahead. Oh, not, not even close. It looked like it was going in, but it wasn't even close in the end. Can he get his cross in? Decent ball. Davavia. Oh, unlucky. Oh, we still have it. He shoots. Oh, that looked closer than it actually was. Oh, that's a decent cross. Oh, they take a touch. Oh, now it's one all. How did they take a touch in the box? What kind of defending was that? A brilliant cross in all fairness. Oh, I think Lopez was there as well who just couldn't get the man. Fuck's sake, 15 minutes left, one all. We have to go a bit attacking here. Let's try and get these three points. Marietta sees McNamara. McNamara turns it. Sees Discarude. Discarude sees Davavia. 
That's a nice run by Lopez. Lopez, hit that. See what happens. Oh, no way. Every time people score. Oh, sorry. I'm after dabbing. Someone told me in the comment section the last video, all I do is dab. Next goal won't be a dab. But every time people score, I just seem to come back for some reason. I don't know why. It's like I get a sudden urge of motivation. But Lopez, uh, in all fairness, the keeper should have saved that. It was straight at him. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. I'll take that though. 2-1. Nice one. Oh shit, Giovinco attacking on this right wing. How does he have so much stamina left? He has done nothing the whole game. Decent ball in. Oh, you are fucking joking. Did that just happen? Two crosses and they score from the two of them. I thought we had it. One. Giovinco swings it in. And two defenders around him. That's Lopez again, I think. Two defenders around him. And he gets the header in. Oh, fuck off. End of the game, lads. We drew two all. How the fuck did that happen? We had it in the bag. And they score a 90th minute crossing from Giovinco. Oh, that's sickened. In the end, we had five shots, three on target. They had six and five. It was a pretty even game. I suppose a draw is a fair result. But Lopez gets man of the match. And Marietta played shit. And Johnson played shit. And Sunil played shit. Everyone else played decent though. Marietta was the cause of the two goals. He's, he should have headed away the two goals. I thought the first one was Lopez, but it ended up being Marietta for the two of them. So not the best of games, but hopefully we can do three points against Orlando. So just before we jump into the game against Orlando, the team of the week has been announced for the MLS. And we have four players in the squad. We have Chanet, Lopez, Harrison and David Villa all happily out in the team of the week could i ask for much more so i'm just going to make one change for this game against orlando i'm going to take out sunhill the player we just signed on a free for the last game just to keep the team in depth and then we bring on okoli just to give him a chance because sunhill played shite in the last game so hopefully we can grab three points in the second home game of this episode against orlando so this is orlando city's starting lineup i don't know any other player except kaka who is also their captain He's playing in that number 10 role just behind the striker. So I'm presuming he's one of their best players. We have to watch out for him. And he's also on our shortlist for July. So if we show up here today, he might be going, oh, I might actually might move to New York in July. You never know, lads. Let's go, though. Let's try and make up for the last game. They're playing with, they're playing with us. They're playing it nicely outside our box. Oh, but we get it. And now we're on the counter-attack. McNamara. And McNamara clean it to David Villa. David Villa does the defender. Go on, Akoli. Akoli's not moving fast enough. David Villa holds up nicely. Sees a Coley now. Great ball. Can he hit it across the keeper? Oh, penalty. Surely a penalty. Yes. Penalty inside 10 minutes and hopefully a red card as well. Yes. Penalty and red card. Eight minutes into the game. I don't know where he plays Ramos, but I'm not sure. Hopefully it's one of his centre backs. Oh, great start to a game, lads. So David Villa is our best penalty taker. So I'm just going to smash this top right hand corner. We're not messing here today, lads. Keeper saves it. Are you for real? Come on. That's two penalties I've missed with this team already. Pirlo missed the first one and David Villa misses this one. Ah, lads. Lopez sees Villa. Villa hits it. Oh, what an absolute goal. Can't score a penalty, but scores an absolute screamer from outside the box. Look at this for a bit of play, though. Absolutely unbelievable. Great through ball into David Villa. He takes a touch and buries it. 1-0 up and the goals are just going to keep coming here because they are exposed. Oh, they make a mistake. Discarood. Take it around him. Pace boost. Oh, hold it up. Get the cross in. Oh, no. Sees David Villa, though. David Villa with a nice ball into McNamara. McNamara, bad touch. Discarood. What can you do with it? Great ball into Harrison. Harrison across the keeper. Oh, keeper makes a good save. But David Villa is there to clean it up. Two goals in like two minutes. David Villa is on fire. Great ball into Harrison. Harrison, unfortunate. Keeper parries it straight to David Villa. What can you do? 2 nil up, lads. This is going to be a good day. Oh, it's a good ball to Lopez. Lopez is caught. Great turn, though. Sees Harrison. Harrison making a decent run. Harrison with the double tap of the... Sh oh, David Villa. Oh, David Villa nearly gets a hat-trick in the first half. That's the end of the first half, lads. We are destroying them. In all fairness, they are down to 10 men. There's not much you can really do about that. We've had six shots, five on target, and managed to convert two of them. And they've only had one shot. And it was on target at least, given that. But, oh, we're looking to get at least 4-0 here, lads. Yeah, I can feel it. Oh, we get it. Lopez, go on. Keep going, Lopez. Keep going, Lopez. Oh, you're caught. Hit it. See what happens. Oh, fuck it. Is that a block? No, that's the worst shot ever. That's Isa Coley. Now get your shot away. Oh, brilliant save by the keeper. Go on, David Villa. David Villa making a de decent run. Turns him. Shoot. Oh, the old David Villa would have finessed the living shit out of that. Oh, unlucky. Sees Lopez. Lopez sees a good run by David Villa. He's onside for the hat-trick. David Villa. Oh, penalty. 
Oh, how is that not a penalty? That was either a great, great tackle or the referee is blind. Oh, we get it. Davia turns him. Hits it for his hat trick. Oh, just over the bar. He's getting so close. Oh, damn. And right back at him. Oh, decent touch. And he shoots. Oh, smashed it off the crossbar. That would have been a goal of the season. Easily. Oh, they shoot again. Oh, that would have been an unbelievable goal. That's the end of the game, lads. We only win by two. I'm actually kind of disappointed because we destroyed them in the second half. They must have made a tactical change and just sorted their team out. But what a win, lads. We are surely back on track now. We had 13 shots, 7 on target. Unbelievable. And of course, David Villa gets man of the match. Unfortunately, he couldn't grab his hat-trick though. So that is where I'm going to leave today's episode. At the end of this though, we are still top of the table. Even though Montreal Impact have a game in hand and they're only a point behind us. So hopefully they can lose that game and we can keep moving on up into first place. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. Anything you want to say, leave it down below. And I'll see you in the next one.